Hi guys! It's Amy with Aim to Plan, and today I am doing a flip through of my latest travel journal. So this was a project that I put together a couple of weeks ago, maybe a month ago, on my channel. I will link the setup for this, or it wasn't really a setup, it was more of an explanation of what I was going to be doing in terms of travel journaling for 2024. So I will link that video in the description so you can watch that as well. Um, but today I'm going to be flipping through this travel journal. So um, just to start off with, one of the things that I did do a little bit... Um, in terms of updating it was add a cover to it. I took some scrapbook paper and basically covered the front of the journal. Um, I didn't do a great job so you can kind of see the, the edges peeking out here. Um, next time I'm going to just fold it over um, and, and cover a little bit of this as well. But I did use a, a piece of scrapbook paper 12 by 12 um, and it was a little bit short um, and so I ended up taking a second strip of it and doing it sideways as you can see here and then adding washi tape um, and again I did not do a great job of covering it so I would definitely do it a different way um, the next time I do it um, I put the um, put the scrapbook paper on there before I took the trip um, and you know I ended up using the entire thing for the cruise so if I had to go back I would pick a different scrapbook paper uh, to cover it with something more cruise related but yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Um, it is travel related at least, and so it's ready to go. And um, it's done now, and I wanted to just flip through it so you can see it. So again, I did cover it, um, but other than that, it's pretty much just a journal um, that I used to journal in while I was on my cruise. Um, the dates of the cruise were actually um, February the 12th through the, I think the 18th or 19th. Um, and so I did stamp this the week before the cruise just to be able to kind of do some prep for it. So there, it's a little bit of a mixture of like travel planning um, and travel journaling or journaling about like just thinking about anticipating the trip as well as journaling during the trip. Um, so this is the week before. And um, what I did use was a Dollar Tree journal. Um, these are guided journals that I purchased from Dollar Tree. Uh, you can see what it looks like prior to um, all the writing and everything um, in the setup or like the walkthrough video, which is linked in the description. So just take a look at that if you want to see what it looks like before I did it all up. But again, I did um, I did journal about the trip prior to the trip actually starting. I did start on the fifth here, wrote in some things. Um, I did have to, um, I did a pin test here and the pins that I typically use, like a, a like a felt tip pin, they do bleed through. So I ended up just going to like a regular ballpoint pin um, and using that. Um, I did use some stickers here and some scrapbook paper to fill it in. Um, these were some of the stickers from Happy Planner that I use. Again, I just journaled about it. These number stickers are from the Dollar Tree. Um, I've had this in my stash for a very long time, but I love the, the style and the size of the stickers. Um, I also did have a printer that I was using to print out some pictures. You'll notice that I didn't actually do a great job of printing out pictures. I do need to get in the habit of trying to print out photos while I'm on on the trip but I did do a good job of journaling so again this is before the trip so I had more time to decorate one of the things that I did do for the trip was I decided to create some door magnets um and so I print I did print this out um on the printer that I got again that's in the, the setup video um but I printed out these magnets I put them onto magnetic sheets um and then I stuck them on my fridge they ended up not actually being able to like be magnetized to the cruise door um the door for our stateroom on the cruise so i did it but it didn't actually get to be something that i used um i did use an f from a magazine that i cut out and then here was just kind of like a loose packing list um i do use a packing list that i have on a word document um, but this was just some notes for some updates that i wanted i did also purchase some magnets for our cruise door and these were just like copies i made like a, like I literally put the magnet on my printer copier and just copied um, these magnets. These are like actual size. So I put that there. I got my new Valentine's Day themed magnets. That was awesome. And then here, just journaling about um, what happened on the 10th. Um, on the 11th, um, I don't know. Okay, this was the 10th. So this was the day that we were traveling. One of the things that Sophia's really been getting into is listening to Kids Pop. And so we turned it on on the radio. There were a couple of... Um, I had a couple of other things in there, but we did cruise out of Galveston. And so this is one of the few things that I saved in its like original form. This is just a like flyer that we got at 
in Galveston. We didn't do anything Mardi Gras related, but I thought it was fitting because the cruise had a lot of Mardi Gras themes um, and uh, we were going out of Galveston, which has a very big Mardi Gras celebration. So I just stuck that in there. All right. And then I don't know if this was for the 11th or like right after, but there were a couple of stickers that I got from Arby's. So I stuck that on here. And then this page, I was going to go back in and stamp it um, for the 12th and forward, but I obviously didn't do that. Um, and so, yeah, um, this is when we're actually on the cruise. Um, this one, I definitely, um, I did not enjoy the cruise port. Um, so the Galveston port, we did not like. So I kind of was journaling about like how, um, how rough of an experience it was for us, at least in our opinion. Um, and so I did journal about that on the 12th, which is the day that we embarked on the cruise. And then you can see here, I skipped a day, which um, I didn't mean to do, but I did skip a day just because, you know, the 13th, I guess we were just, it was a sea day. I just wanted to enjoy it. Um, but then on the 14th, um, one of the big things that I love to do on cruises is do trivia. And so starting on the 14th here, you can see I, I started um, just writing in here all of the trivia answers that I had. Um, I like to, to just take notes and, you know, just kind of do those types of things. I have like a random thing right here. I don't know what that is. So lots of trivia. And again, like I said, for the cruise itself, there were lots of different things, um, themes going on. Um, there are lots of trivia, lots of things to do. Um, but one of the big things was, of course, Black History Month. And so I took a couple of coloring sheets. I didn't actually color it, as you can see here, but I did tape them in just to kind of um, memorialize that we were... Um, sailing on the cruise during Black History Month. Um, and then, of course, it was also the beginning of the Lunar New Year, and so they had a couple of coloring sheets related to that. Uh, more trivia, as you can see here. I think I'm skipping a page. Oh, I must have taped it down. So one of the things that this guided journal has is like seven pages in between. And because I was using so many pages for like the trivia, I did tape down. It's, um, I, don't know if you, I don't know if you can see it, but it's basically like one of those weekly pages. That looks like this and i just kind of taped those two pages together so it'd be more of a flow into um this page and then again more trivia right and that was all the 15th right all that trivia all that type of stuff right then coming back here to the 16th um it was actually kind of interesting on the 15th i did all of the trivia the trivia was pretty much in the morning going into early afternoon and then we decided to try to go to the splash pad sophia had uh, a little bit of an issue of um wanting to go to the splash pad so i was journaling about that then a couple of other things related to just like some work that i was doing while on the cruise um and then i wanted to um i apparently just pulled one of the trivia sheets here and stuck them in here. This is the trivia sheet that you're supposed to use during the trivias, but you know, obviously, as long as you're writing them the answers down, I just feel like it's not that big of a deal. Um, and then I taped down several pages here. You can see here, I taped down, it's, it's one of those weekly pages again. Um, but then I also decided to make this kind of be like one of the, the big spreads. Um, not spreads really, but like just something that was a little bit more designed. I did use some scrapbook paper. Again, I probably would have used this for the cover if I had known I was going to use the entire thing for the cruise. Um, but I covered up, just like taped it down onto the paper. Um, and one of the big things for me was that this cruise was my platinum cruise. I turned platinum, which is one of the um, VIP statuses for Carnival. Um, and so they had their VIP um, platinum and diamond gathering, as you can see here. And so this was the invitation for that. Um, and I wanted to get this in here, but I also wanted it to kind of stand out so I um like in terms of making it stand out here I just decided the scrapbook would kind of frame it really nicely so that is that All right this is still I think the 16th it might be the 17th I actually don't know um but then there's more trivia um this one my husband had to write these answers so we were kind of doing a team trivia type thing well we were doing it together um and so he wrote down the answers because I was taking care of the baby at this time and then I did try to use some of the letters these letters match the um the numbers if I can find one of the numbers they match these numbers uh, right I got them from the Dollar Tree as well um I ran out of W so I stuck in a heart right there <laughs> but that's that and then here is 17 um this was um the day we got off the ship um I guess yes I must have um and so um, I have to block this out. This is like, I feel like very negative in terms of reading it, but I did journal about the debarkation experience. So I had the very beginning complained about like the embarkation experience here. The debark experience was just as bad to me. So um, I really just didn't like the Galveston port. So that was a lot of the journaling here. But one of the big things is again, I turned platinum on this cruise. So I was excited about that. Um, I did have like, I think one or two sheets left at the very end. So I decided just to tear that out. Um, actually, no, I, I, 
was taking work notes on it so I tore it out just because I put that into my work planner um, but yeah I finished the entire thing and used all of these pages and actually now that I did it it really works out well to use one per trip and so my plan is to do the same thing for an upcoming trip that I have um, as you probably know if you've been following along with me on this channel I will be going to go wild in April um, but one of the big things for me is that it is going to be where I'm going to be at go wild and I have a separate go wild notebook and planner for that but I also do have plans to do some family related stuff my family is going with me we are driving there we're not flying I'm not going by myself just to the conference we're going to be as a family going to some other things and so I want to put, put together a book like this for the things that are non go wild related so that way I can keep track of some of the family memories and some of the things that we're doing related to the trip and then just like I said earlier um, I really want to try to be better and like get into the habit of using the printer a little bit more and printing out more photos and putting those things in here so again I think it would work out really well to have one book per trip and so even if I don't finish out the entire book or use every single page at least all the photos that I want and all the journaling um, for that trip will be all together so that's kind of what I'm thinking um, but really this was just the flip through of this travel journal so I hope you enjoyed that um, I really enjoyed this method of doing it with like the journaling as the focus rather than the memory keeping and the ephemera. Um, even though I love smash booking, I love memory keeping and photos. Um, I think focusing on the journaling just made it less pressure for me. Um, and so I'm going to continue to do this for 2024. Um, obviously, subject to change, I can always change my mind, but I enjoyed it for the first trip that we took. So we'll see how it goes for the next trip, which is the one in April. But again, short video, I think, but hopefully this gives you some ideas for travel journaling um, and you know how it might be something that you can incorporate into your travels um let me know if you saw anything that you would change or anything that stood out to you i would love to get your comments and feedback for this flip through and i hope you did enjoy this video if you did give it a thumbs up if you haven't done so already subscribe to my channel and until the next video bye guys